Warning, this video does contain constant stuttering, so viewer discretion is advised. Before the video starts, I just want to say that subtitles are available. So if I misspell or mispronounce a word, make sure you have subtitles, subtitles on just in case. Also, be sure to follow me on my socials, which will be linked in, this, in the description below. Thanks for listening and enjoy this video. Hello everyone, welcome welcome back to the channel. My name is The Horseman and in this week's video we will be talking about the upcoming auction revolving around Michael Jackson's drawings and the controversy surrounding it like most MJ auctions. Before we begin, be sure to subscribe and ring the bell icon so you won't miss my latest videos. Now, a rare collection of Michael Jackson's signed drawings will be auctioned off on August 3rd. The collection includes 78 sketches made using wax pencils, pastels, and watercolors on paper, some of which were sketched on presidential paper that Michael received during a White House visit. These sketches include images of Michael's self-portraits, including one in of Michael in a Jedi-style robe, drawings of chairs, arch architecture, Michelangelo's David, several drawings of U.S. presidents, Peter Pan, pop art icon Andy Warhol, Walt Disney, Marilyn Monroe, and Queen Elizabeth II. According to King's Auctions, who are orchestrating the auction, uh, they stated that the sketches were carefully stored in a private collective studio in Santa Monica, California, and a representative from King's Auction revealed that Jackson allegedly frequented the studio to immerse himself in the arts while recovering from plastic surgeries. The description from King's Auction's website reads, Michael Jackson's art auction is finally being reviewed and sold to the highest bidder. This will be a one-day event and will not be repeated. The auction deemed the museum collection will be the ultimate collectible for any Michael Jackson fan, investor, or art collector. Michael was influenced by many art genres from classical and architectural to pop art and even formal portraiture. He also had a great fondness for London and British customs. <laughs> The auction house also added of the sketches being shown, all of which are signed and some of which are double-sided, meaning that meaning they have a drawing on each side. They, they will also be auctioning off the chair that was used during the hologram performance from the 2014 Billboard Music Awards, which I don't know why you would auction something like that. I mean, I mean it's a decent looking chair, but at the end of the day, Michael's ass was not on the chair. So to me, it's basically worthless. Anyways, when describing Jackson's lifelong obsession with sketching, King said, said, quote, Jackson's love for drawing started at an early age. When he was older, he sought guidance from world, from world renowned artists to fine tune his talent resulting in these rare pieces of art. Despite being known for his talent in music and dance, it is clear that Jackson had an innate talent for visual art as well. <laughs> now, upon reading an article by MJ Vibe about these drawings being auctioned, it said these these drawings were controversial in the fan community, as not only the fans but also Michael Jackson's estate were questioning the authenticity of these drawings. A representative for Michael's estate told um, TMZ that they do not accept these sketches as authentic. Note, noting they examined the artwork years ago and upon further inspection felt even more dubious. They say they've re, uh, relayed this to the auction house since then and insisted they haven't received any evidence yet um, um, that to them would suggest these drawings were done by Michael. The MJ community has been questioning these drawings for over a decade. Personally, uh, personally for me, some of these drawings look look authentic saying Michael drew them on presidential paper during his visits in the White House I mean presidential paper is, re is really hard to come by I mean I mean who do you I mean who do you know has presidential paper lying around around their house unless they're, unless they're a politician or a famous figure I mean not me I wish but not me However, Michael Jackson's estate has every right to warn people and fans about the possibility they could purchase a fake drawing. 
Now, if a multimillionaire or an art collector is willing to purchase them and lock them into 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 their private collection or show off for a show off during their dinner parties, be my guess. But I would love to know what you guys think in the comments below. Do you think these drawings are real or fake? Will you, will you, will you be purchasing any? Um, I highly doubt that, considering the fact that the starting bid is between a whopping one million to thirty million dollars for each sketch. Not thirty million is for for all seventy eight sketches, but thirty million dollars for one sketch each. That's just crazy. But at the end of the day, it's Michael Jackson after all. But but even then, I, even then, if I was a multi million millionaire, I would I wouldn't I wouldn't pay thirty million dollars for a Michael Jackson set. Michael Justin sketch that I don't even, I don't even know it's real or not but um anyways uh leave a like and comment on what I should talk about in my next video be sure to, to uh, subscribe so you won't miss my latest videos um you can also find me on Instagram at the artistic horseman where I post all of my art stuff uh thanks for watching I will see you all in the next one